Sorry about that, folks. Hello, everybody. I know I'm a little bit late to the party. My name is Marcelo Brosiner, and you are here. Well, you've already been here for a few minutes for the Lady Highlanders opening match of the season against Malden. Clear off sides there. Somerville with an early lead, so I've been told by our phenomenal cameraman, Bill Trudell. So, you can't ask for a much better start to the season. And that doesn't change the fact that Tony is vocal as ever on the sideline for the Highlanders. An extremely young team here. Heavy touch there from Lady Highlanders, but it's kept in bounds out on that far side. A few touches too many, but well recovered by the Highlanders. And that's Marie Lassard Brand with an amazing through ball there, now playing center midfield it looks, as opposed to her usual position of right or left midfield. And that pass alone tells you exactly why coach Tony has her playing in center midfield. She's adopted the number 10, which as many of you may know, the number 10 is the most iconic number that there is in football. Soccer is what I mean by that. 
It's not great weather outside, but it's kind of ideal, uh, some of these players out here might tell you, because you're bound to work up a sweat anyways. Hold on here. Oh, well done by the Malden Keeper to come out and collect. But you're bound to get sweaty anyways playing a competitive match of football, soccer. So when you have a little bit of overcast, it helps prevent a little bit of that dehydration or general exhaustion. Here's Marie again driving through. A little confusion there, but somehow she keeps the ball, eventually taken away, though. Well cleared out of play. Coach Tony not at all happy with what he's seeing, but it's that standard that he has set, which is a major reason behind the success of the Lady Highlanders since he took over as coach. He knows how much potential this program has, and not just in the players he has now, but in the younger generations who are being molded by Somerville Youth Soccer and the various club teams they play for. And he's done so well, Coach Tony. Marie in a battle there for the ball, loses out, but well won again there by Lady Highlanders. And Malden here, the ball on the outside, that's a great step though, and the ball out of bounds. But Coach Tony's, Tony has done so well, like I was saying before, he lost a lot of seniors, um, too many to name without risking, you know, leaving one out. There were so many good players. Hold on, here's Malden in the box, the ball across, comfortably collected there. And Elizabeth, unhappy in goal, making it known that she is not happy with what she is seeing. A good, honest battle there, but an unfortunate bounce for Malden. Great pass there. The Highlanders in the box again, but Malden goalkeeper yet again collecting confidently. Somerville winning the ball back. A turn attempted there, but well recovered again. And Coach Tony, <laughs> he is very vocal. But it's that kind of intensity that can transmit from the, the coach to the team. And so he's just holding his players accountable because he knows what they're capable of. Free kick here from Alden. And that's gone well into the Somerville's third, but nice tackle there. And ball played upfield. The ball looking for teammate, unable to find her though. It's a good touch by the Malden forward to settle. And the through ball, it's a good idea, but Quick off the line to collect. Ball cleared up to half field. Through ball played in. That sounded or looked like a handball, but no call made and they continue here. That's a good battle, ball out of bounds. It's a Somerville throw taken quickly, well controlled, but a lot of 50-50s here in the early, or I guess the first half of this first half. Through ball again, clearly controlled with the hands, but I guess with it being close to the body, deemed unintentional. And right now, both both sides able to at least get the ball in the uh, opposition's box. But typically so far, it's been a case of the goalkeeper coming to collect without too much trouble. Although we do have to remember, it is 1-0 to the Highlanders. 
and I'm sad that I wasn't able to uh, announce it, but hopefully that'll be far from the last goal. So a very young team here, a number of sophomores, some freshmen, a really good mix because it's almost like a coach's worst nightmare when you lose, you know, 10 seniors in one summer. Risky pass there, but worked out in the end, cleared out from Alden throw-in. But that is, a, you know, like I mentioned earlier, that is what happened last year with Coach Tony. He, he lost a huge core um, of seniors, but clearly this Lady Highlander side is starting strong. Two Malden players fall to the floor there accidentally in collision, and Marie does well to continue to play. Nice one-two back. Marie looking for a teammate again, but it's cleared up field. Through ball again. That's onside this time. Only one Malden player in the box, and it was a very tame cross. Whoa, and that worked out in the end. A dummy there from the uh, from the Lady Highlander center back, and Elizabeth able to collect it well. Good communication there. And that's out of bounds. Good fighting there by Isabella, number 13, a ninth grader, playing on this near side. That's a strong challenge there on Kaylee. But no one in midfield able to recover for Kaylee there. Good defending by Bridget, but Malden still with the ball, trying to get a pass off and able to do so, but again, straight to Elizabeth. Elizabeth, a senior captain, a fantastic goalkeeper with a big punt there, but it's gone straight to Malden. No one for Somerville able to anticipate the second bounce there. And that's Violet, a 10th grader, out wide. Settled well by Lillian, also a 10th grader. So a huge core of 10th graders here for the Highlanders. Um, exciting signs, ball played by Bridget to Isabella, back to Bridget. Bridget looking up field but out of bounds, Malden throw. And again, it's really refreshing to see throw-ins because remember when the uh, spring COVID season was being played, throw-ins were not allowed and neither was heading the ball which are two of the more unique uh, elements of soccer. So it's good to see some of those core uh, pieces back. Also, apologies if anyone was watching the boys uh, game from earlier this week. Um, I'm well aware COVID-19 is still very much alive and um, kicking all over the world. Uh, when I was speaking about the fact that masks are now off for these players, I just meant that in this immediate area, folks are vaccinated and safe enough that we can afford to be playing without masks. So really thankful for that, um, for everyone who's helped make those vaccines available and been facilitating the distribution of them. Everyone working in hospitals, clinics, schools, helping you know, facilitate testing and even vaccines. Really, really amazing to see. That's a good step there by Delia. But Malden here with a chance. Nope, it's called off sides before any real danger could be uh, brewed up there. And that's Delia Richardson, uh, number six, also a ninth grader. It's not too common that you see a ninth grader starting in defense. And we have at least two of them, both Bridget and Delia, both starting in defense, both ninth graders. So that just speaks more to the amount of, and Layla as well on the ball right now, number two, also a ninth grader. So coach Tony will be thrilled by the, by the core of youth he has in this side. Nice touch there, but taken away by Malden. 
One touch pass there. Well recovered. It was almost taken away, but Isabella did well to keep it in. And here she is now on this far side. Good ball inside to Kaylee. A little bit heavy there on the pass, on the return pass, and a Malden throw in now. Well, things seem to have cooled down a bit in terms of the immediate threat from either side. Um, you know, like I mentioned not too long ago, both sides have managed to get the ball in the box, but we haven't seen a clear cut shot in quite some time. Nice first touch pass there by Isabella to Kaylee. Kaylee unable to settle. And Malden here with a little bit of space. Nice pass into the middle from Malden, but very well marked there by Violet. One back, Marie, nice turn there. Marie is a senior captain as well. Good idea there on the through ball, but it doesn't connect. Malden with the punt there. And apologies um, that I am not referring to the Malden players by their names. They, they arrived late um, for the match and we were unable to get their um, roster before the match started because understandably the Malden coach wanted to get a warm up in before playing. So I mean no disrespect. Good through ball there to Lillian. And the cross attempted there, it looked like, by Madeline, also a ninth grader, but it was blocked out of play, and the Highlanders with a corner kick and potentially a chance to make something happen here. A little insurance never hurt anybody. One nil, of course, not strong enough. A lead trick play here by the Highlanders, and it's immediately intercepted by Malden. That certainly was not executed according to plan, but another corner kick, it looks like. Coach Tony calling the play there. And an innovative set piece there. The corner was laid off all the way back to Violet, who was near the half line, or closer to half than the Malden goal when the pass was made. And she attempted that first touch cross, deflected out for another corner. Referee reminding Malden of the 10 yard rule even if it's a trick set piece being taken here. And again, the Highlanders will really want to work on that because that's two times in a row now that it has not gone according to plan. And it looks like they're sticking with it potentially, so. Nope, and it looks like they're playing the same trick free kick uh, set piece again. Better ball into the box this time, but perhaps a little bit behind everybody. Ball played up, that's well done by Malden to find a teammate, but no touch there to settle. And so Violet yet again doing really well to come away with the ball, looking for a teammate. A couple touches too many though, and Malden back in possession. Ball played right down the middle. Good pass here, chance for Malden potentially. They're in the box. Somerville need to be careful. Violet, a tackle there and no call made. Well, there wasn't any sort of protest from Malden, which suggests maybe that it was indeed a successful tackle. I was not sure there if there was any potential for a penalty kick, but clearly not the case. Elizabeth with a goal kick, 10 yards short of half, but Somerville coming away with the ball. Ba excuse me, Layla under some pressure there. Good feet from the Malden. Midfielder there and the through ball as well, a little too much on it, and it's out for a goal kick. And a timeout called here, folks. We'll be back momentarily. A timeout taken there. 
Uh, it wasn't clear who called the timeout. I missed that. But regardless, of course, both teams get the timeout. And the Highlanders now with the ball, starting out from the back. Delia, well done there under pressure. And nice turn there from Caitlin, another ninth grader again. So according to my calculations, the Highlanders are currently fielding four, five ninth graders. And I'm probably missing at least one. So five ninth graders, one or two sophomores, and the only seniors that, as far as I know, are Marie, Kaylee, and Elizabeth that are on the field, I'm saying. So pretty awesome for Coach Tony because he's building a team not just for this season, but for the next two, three years. Nice turn there. That was Lillian but unsuccessful on the cross, and I guess a foul called. Ball over the top there. Somerville a little slow to step, but well dealt with in the end. And a little too much on that pass there, but it's all right. Throw in, well intercepted or stepped on there by Bridget. Isabella tending to her defensive duties. Tracking back the throw in. It's the battle of the fours there as it has been for much of this first half so far. Nice long throw in there, but it looks like an illegal throw was called and so it's a Malden throw in now in the same position where it was initially taken and Coach Tony reminding Kaylee not to get too dragged out of her position as striker there. You know, striker is um, arguably the most difficult position in, in soccer, along with goalkeeper perhaps, because your positioning constitutes 80, 90% of your role as a striker. Handball there. But as the striker, you not only have to drop back and find the ball, you have to press up against the last defender. You have to check wide if someone has the ball and they need help. You have to drop back on defense if there's a corner kick or a set piece you have to deal with. So the striker really has so many duties. Great through ball here, too heavy though, and the Malden keeper comes to collect. But Coach Tony, who himself played striker and goalkeeper, so two of the most difficult positions, um, Kaylee will know that his advice is um, the type to listen to. And Lily, I guess that's what uh, she's referred to as, Lily, so I'll call her the same. Oh, a little tricky there for Delia, but she does well in the end. And Somerville comes out with the ball, Marie. Pressure on her, but does well to find Caitlin. Caitlin back to Marie. Marie, she's got Isabella. Nice first touch pass there from Marie. Isabella, she finds Kaylee. Kaylee, and that's really good marking from Alden there. Prevented that from being a potential opportunity. Good work there, though, from Caitlin and Marie and Isabella. Good transition play there. Strong step, way, and that clearly offsides there. Malden really struggling to stay on side in this first half. And they'll want to keep a closer eye on the last man, or last woman for the Highlanders, Lady Highlanders. And the referee unhappy with where the ball's placed here. Moving it back a few yards. The ball played to Marie. Marie, another great through ball to Isabella. Isabella, she has options here. She could do the first time cross or take a touch. She chooses the ladder, and the cross goes straight to the Malden goalkeeper. And a good turnout today for both sides. There's clearly a Malden support 
a pretty good Malden support here, but also a strong Somerville support. Ball flicked up, settled by Lilly. No handball called, and Somerville with a chance to get the ball in the box here. Well done that they're out on the wing. That was Madeline, it looks like. Strong step again. So the underclassmen really running the show here for the Lady Highlanders. Most of these players in ninth and 10th grade. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, it's just exciting. Good step there, but Malden come away with it and the ball played over the top. Again, Elizabeth quick off her line, well done there, reassuring her back line that she's got it under control. Ball played up and it goes through everybody. Eventually comes to Marie. Marie has been pulling the strings in this first half. It wasn't clear if she was looking for Lily or Isabella there, but nonetheless, putting Malden under some pressure and forcing them to deal with it. Isabella unlucky there not to come away with the ball. Ball played through and Malden with it. On side here, laid off again. But Somerville coming away with the ball here and a chance to counterattack. Nice touch there, can she find a teammate? That's a good step by Malden, but really good battle there. Lily not giving up on the play. Heavy touch, yet again intercepted. Layla is in the right places at the right time, yet again. And good recovery. You love to see that tracking back there. And the Highlanders with the ball again. Certainly that's a foul, but yep. Referee tried to call an advantage there, but did the right thing by calling the play back once he saw that there wasn't really anything to come of that play. And a set piece here for the Highlanders. Again, we are at Foss Park, right in smack dab middle of Somerville. It is amazing to see this turf field completed because as I was saying during the boys game, hold on, ball into the box here. And the header, really well done there. That was Madeline, the ninth grader who got ahead on that. And that's encouraging to see. But as I was saying for the boys game earlier this week, you know, growing, having grown up in Somerville myself and played for Somerville High School, you know, Foss Park was mostly dirt for a long time. Long ball over the top there, offsides called, or a foul. Um, so to see Foss Park now be this state-of-the-art turf field, it's long overdue, it's much deserved for not just the high school teams, but for all of the people who play on weekends for fun. And they've had to deal with you know a dust bowl for decades, and it's just, it's amazing to see the progression. So well done to the city of Somerville, the state of Massachusetts, to get this field completed. Good play here, and Isabella, she can apply some pressure here. As was Lily, but cleared out well by Malden. Better safe than sorry. Substitutions coming in here for Malden, and one for Somerville as well. It looks like that's Madeline coming off and coming in. It's a little hard to see the number. But as soon as we figure that out, we'll let you know. And a miss kick there out for a goal kick. So that's another thing. We're out here at Foss Park while Dillboy Stadium uh, completes its own renovation. Also long overdue because that has been the same turf for over a decade as well. So 2006, I've been told. So 15 years of the same turf, which not only just isn't that pretty to look at, but it's also actually pretty bad for the uh, athletes using it. Uh, when you have less, uh, less security on the impact, it's, it's really rough on your back and your knees. So 
it's not just about the turf itself. It's about the protecting the athletes playing on it. Somerville getting into the box a little bit more in these last few minutes as well. But again, no clear-cut chances. That header a few minutes ago, really the closest thing we've seen to a, a goal in a while. Getting stuck in there, it has to be said, well done by number seven from Alden. A little bit of a kick of the feet there as well, but no foul called and cleared out of play by Violet. Playing right back there and really holding it down. Throw in for Malden. It's seen out of play again by the Highlanders and it's now a Malden throw in further down the field. Out of play for a Somerville throw. Ball cleared out and it's off a Malden player in the end. Nice control there, really well done there by Lily. And I remember Lily being a standout player in the spring season during COVID. She, she covers so much ground, Lily, and she's, she's a nuisance is what she is. You can tell that she knows how to put pressure on an, opposite, an opposition defense there. Throw in, dealt with well by Somerville and Isabella with a little bit of space here, but she tries to find Marie and it's intercepted by Malden. Oh, and I'm learning all the nicknames thanks to Coach Tony's vocalness. Isabella is actually Issa, or at least that's what she's referred to as. So Issa out here on this near side. She had a little bit more time than she may have thought. And being a ninth grader, that composure comes with experience. So, you know, by the end of this season or by next season, definitely, it'll be easier for, for her and the, the other young players on this Highlander team to hold on to the ball. But again, Strong signs early on here for such a young core. And we have about five minutes remaining in the half. So again, uh, apologies for missing the, the biggest bit of action at the very, very beginning. As a free kick here for Malden is being set up. And it looked like an attempt on goal, but it never worried Elizabeth, who watched it out of play. And a goal kick here. Bridget, risky pass there. Malden with a potential chance, but so well done there by Delia to recover. And Issa, she's able to find Marie. Marie, nice little body feint there to open up some space. Unable to find Lily though, who was off sides and wrong side of the defender. Tony not happy with that call. And uh, just a reminder, Coach Tony was my assistant coach when I played for Somerville High School back in the day. He was a longtime assistant coach for the boys varsity team before he took over the girls team. And he has been instrumental in breeding success within the Lady Highlander program, something that they did not have for a very long time. Lily, that's certainly a foul referee. I don't know. Hold on here. Well, that was really risky there by the Malden goalkeeper and defender because Kaylee was one toe away from putting that in the back of the net, potentially. But surprising there that no foul was called on Lily. She clearly got taken out. Nonetheless, She's already back at it. Well settled there by Caitlin. What a save there. Oh, 
And Lily will be so upset that that didn't go in, but she did well to get the shot off. And credit to the Malden goalkeeper keeping that out. Well, that would have been the, the perfect way to end this half for Coach Tony and the Lady Highlanders, get a little bit of insurance and enter the second half with a little more confidence. And Coach Tony not hiding the fact that it's going in the box. And he's telling, he's telling Lily to take the free kick. And it's, finally, we saw the number. Sorry about that, Emily. Emily, number 11 there, who Coach Tony was telling to step off the free kick. Lily, great ball in, but it's punched out and the rebound. Oh, and that's so unfortunate. I don't think. Emily quite realized that it would fall to her like that. It's hard to react so quickly, but a huge chance there for the Lady Highlanders, again, to go into the half with a 2-0 lead. But Emily will know now, you know. She, I won't be surprised if she puts the next one away. Sometimes it only takes a couple. Throw in here with Violet. Nice throw in to Lily. Does well to settle and find a teammate. Kaylee, nice one touch back to Marie. Marie with the left footed shot. And it's, I really thought that went in. I really thought that went in. That was a good attempt on goal. It was a lofted attempt. It was almost like a chip shot. Not entirely intentional maybe, but you know, it was really high up and no disrespect, but Malden's goalkeeper doesn't have the most height. That could have snuck in right under the crossbar. And Malden will be very happy that that was not the case. There we have it, folks. Halftime, Lady Highlanders with a 1-0 lead. We'll be back shortly for the second half. Thank you. Welcome back, folks, for the second half of this opening fixture of the Lady Highlanders season against Malden. Starting the half with a long ball over the top, the trademark Somerville High School start to a kickoff. And it's out for an early corner kick to the Lady Highlanders. Great corner here. And it's not dealt with at the end of the day by the goalkeeper, but it's cleared out. That could have been something different. Violet finds a teammate, Marie, that's blocked by Malden and cleared out of play. And that's Bridget who will be throwing it in. A nice commanding throw in and touched on, but cleared out again. That looks like it's off a Somerville player and it is Malden throw in. Taken too far up, I guess, to the liking of the referee there. And a Loose touch there leads to a throw in for the Lady Highlanders. And there's Lily. It's gone to Kaylee. The shot is blocked. And it's a goal kick? No, it's a corner kick. That was an interesting decision by the Malden goalkeeper. I assumed that it was off a of Somerville player, but I guess not. And Somerville with another chance on a corner here. Ball played in, that's another good corner. And it's gone through everybody, but no one able to get a foot on it, and it's out for a goal kick. Unlucky there for the Lady Highlanders. Great delivery though, again, on that corner kick. I think that was Lily who took that. She's got a rocket of a foot there. She knows how to give the Malden defense problems. Ball played up, it's gone straight over to Madeline. Out for a Somerville throw in. Madeline wasting no time. Lily unable to settle there and it's out for a corner kick yet again. Oh, so that's Madeline taking the corner. Apologies if I misspoke earlier. But here we are with Madeline lining up for another corner kick. And you can, well, you might not be able to see her in the screen, but we have uh, Violet sticking around for this, the trick play. But that's not the case. The ball in. 
and it's not caught by the mole. The goalkeeper, and it's an own, and it's eventually in. It's a goal. I can't tell you exactly whose goal, and that's really unfortunate for the Malden goalkeeper because it was kicked off of her in an attempt to clear it, and I have no idea who scored that goal because it's simply impossible to know. And the parents are the MVPs here. It was Kaylee Costa, the senior captain, who ultimately had the last touch there. I have more eyes than two. So 2-0 to the Highlanders, and it was not the prettiest of goal, but that doesn't change how many goals it's worth. That's a goal. And that should put a spring in the step of the Lady Highlanders, as reflected in Madeline's early pressure there, straight from the kickoff. And Delia, a slightly short pass there, but comfortable for Elizabeth. And apologies to Delia, I was pronouncing your name wrong the whole first half. So now, now I know. Malden throw in here. And Coach Tony won't be happy with two goals either. He'll want another three if he can uh, manage to see those in. Kaylee causing problems there on that far side. No foul. Marie, great first time pass back, but kind of in between two ideas there. Not able to find Kaylee or uh, Lily. Kaylee, so good at recovering on the play. Even if the touch is heavy, she's able to find her way back there. I'm not sure the issue there, but off Somerville for another throw into Malden. It's gone down the line here. And Delia does so well there to shield it out of play. Goal kick. Violet. Nice pass there to find Lily. A little slow to control it there, but able to turn out. Marie lets it run across her, nice cutback. Ball played up and it's collected, but it's knocked out of her hands by her own teammate and it's back with her. Well, that was a scary moment for Malden. Ball played up field there, hello. And Violet, heavy touch that's intercepted by Malden, nice cut inside there. And Malden, well, they looked like they were set to put something together, but Bridget, a crucial step there. And she's able to see it out of bounds. Malden with the throw in. Straight to Layla. Marie does well to control there, and it's cleared out by Violet. Unable to find a teammate, though, Marie does find a teammate and that is uh that's emily out there on the far side now at left midfield isa taking a break she played much of that first half and i'm sure as a ninth grader she'll be slowly getting her stamina up because this is a different pace from uh youth level soccer questionable throw in there but no comment Although I already commented. Here's Malden. A chance here to open up on the flank, and they do. What a good pass that is. But Delia again there to deal with it. Nice cutback, though. The cutback is cleared away again. Not fully dealt with yet, though. And Elizabeth comes out again to pick the ball up. Slightly worrying moment there for the Highlanders as that throw is... Intercepted immediately by Malden. Again, a nice pass. But Bridget in the right place as she has been so many times already in this game. Coach Tony, who was a goalkeeper himself, not happy with that pass made <laughs> from Elizabeth, but it didn't cost them. Hold on here, a shot and a goal for Malden. Well, the throw-in 
Somerville was sort of asleep there on the throw-in, and it just went right to a Malden player. And a great finish, it has to be said, by Malden. Elizabeth unable to get there in time, and the lead is cut in half. And Somerville may be getting a little bit complacent there, now realizing that they have to bring it to Malden. Again, two goals is never a big enough lead in, in soccer. In fact, sometimes it's known as a curse because once a team gets one goal back like Malden just has, they have a new injection of energy like you are seeing here. And so Somerville will do everything in their power to get a third goal or else they're at risk of blowing a two goal lead, heavy pass there out of play. Throw in here, switch of play, but it's gone to Bridget. Malden play the ball back in the middle of the park, but Bridget again. That's well controlled there and a good turn as well by Caitlin. Finds Marie. Marie back to Caitlin again. Caitlin with one Malden defender on her. Nice through ball there, but Lily unable to get around the Malden defender. That's good shielding there. And we have more of a game on our hands now. Great first touch. What a control that was by the Malden player there. But it's gone back to a Somerville player and has cleared out of bounds. Throw in, goes over Madeline, but Violet does really well there to step in. Madeline, good touch there to create some space for herself. Looking for Lily, but intercepted and won back by Malden. Madeline not giving up on the play, great work there. And it's gone out of bounds eventually. Substitution being made here. That's Madeline coming out for Issa, who's back in, um, now playing right midfield. Oh, sorry, that's Emily, apologies. That's Emily out here now on the near side playing right midfield. And Issa's now playing left midfield, yes. Apologies for that. So we've got a, an attacking four really of Emily, Lily, Kaylee and Issa. Well intercepted by Emily, difficult ball to control and eventually cleared up. That could be some trouble there for the Highlanders. Delia tracking back really well and, and bodying the Malden player off the ball there. Such a good bit of recovery there from Delia. Not easy when you play a ball that long over the top. It's easy to get caught off guard. The corner kick to be taken by Malden. No trick free kicks here for Malden. And it's a little bit behind the attempted teammate being found there. Lucky bounce for Malden, but again, blocked by Somerville. And a bit of a scrap here at the top of the box to see who ends up with possession. And what's called ultimately here, it looks like an offsides actually. It is an offsides called. That was a less clear one because everyone was in such close proximity. Ball played up field here. And a bit of a coming together there, multiple players going to the ground, but eventually Somerville comes away with a great first touch there by Caitlin to settle it for Marie. Marie finds Lily, great turn by Lily. It's gone back to Caitlin again. Caitlin's got Emily on the far side. She finds her. Can Emily keep it in bounds? Not quite, it, it is a throw into Malden, so Somerville will be trying to keep Malden pent in here in their own corner. Apply some more pressure. 
And is dribbled out of bounds, Somerville ball, that pressure paying off that we just talked about. Ball won back again by Caitlin. Delia settling with the head, really good turn there. So composed. Not playing like a ninth grader, that's for sure. Marie, she's got some space here. Looking for Issa out wide. Can she keep it in bounds? She cannot throw into Malden. Neither team really able to settle the ball here and, and find some consistent possession. It's a lot of back and forth, which is, you know, kind of sums up the high school level in general, boys and girls. Its possession is not as crisp as it obviously is at the collegiate level or needless to say, the professional level. But we've seen a couple moments in this game where the Highlanders have shown their ability to string some uh, calculated passes together, we can say. Delia clears it up. It finds a Malden player, but Caitlin certainly tripped up there, but no call. And the shot, a tame effort, balances into the hands of Elizabeth. Or Liz, I should call her, I guess. Or maybe I have to earn that the nickname right. I'm not the coach. <laughs> Marie, good touch to settle. Heavy touch by Kaylee. Good turn there from the Malden defender, same one who intercepted. Issa finds Lily, heads it back to Caitlin. Caitlin will look to play that ball over the top, and she does. Well marked. But Lily making herself a nuisance as always and a throw into Somerville in the corner. Violet with the missed kick and that's out of bounds for a goal kick. I just noticed Violet has the, uh, a, a captain's armband on and you know that that speaks a lot to her leadership qualities given the fact that she's still only a sophomore so credit to violet there substitutions coming in for the highlanders that's number 17 coming in for somerville elizabeth a missed kick there by layla recovered by marie nice cut there to get away from pressure Bridget looking for Marie again, but it's cleared up field. Bit of a back and forth here right now. I'm sure Tony, nice tackle there by Caitlin to win it back. And she's played Elizabeth through, but couldn't quite connect there. Great work there in midfield. The throw in, Caitlin, nice ball in, but no one quite anticipating that early cross. That's a big punt there. And Malden here with a chance potentially. Nice, nice defending there from Violet, using her strength to put some pressure on the Malden forward there. Emily clears it upfield. Caitlin. Trying to win it back, but Malden keeps it for now. Marie intercepts. Good one-touch pass to Elizabeth. Elizabeth looking there for Shristina. Shristina, sorry. Delia with the free kick for the offsides. Unable to find a teammate as Malden controls and ultimately the ball stays in bounds. It looked like it was going out and the Somerville body language made it seem as though it did go out of bounds, but it's still in here. Nonetheless, Somerville in possession. Marie, all the time in the world on the ball there and she finds Caitlin. Caitlin with less time and it's blocked. Another ball out wide to Emily. Emily, first time crossing into the box. Gone through to the Malden goalkeeper, and it's out. Uh, sorry, it's in the hands now of the keeper. 
Good work here on this, this near side, this right side for Somerville. Again, though, not a game of many clear-cut chances. There haven't been any one-on-ones or any, you know, n n mandatory emergency saves for either goalkeeper, actually. Well, yeah, in this half at least. Foul committed by Malden, Somerville free kick, 15 yards inside their own half. Two one to the Lady Highlanders right now. As I'd imagine, we're approaching the final twenty minutes of this second half. Roughly. Again, at Dilboy Stadium, we would have a huge uh, scoreboard to tell us how long was remaining in the game and how many goals each team had. But that is not the case. Oh, a good touch there by Malden and a chance and such an early shot taken there. I don't think the Malden player realized how much time they had to get a shot off, but Somerville won't be complaining. That's well won back by Malden. Somerville under some intense pressure right now. They'll have to be careful not to make any mistakes, shoot themselves in the foot. But good pressure by Malden to force Somerville into conceding a corner kick here. The Lady Highlanders will have to deal with this pressure. But with this team being so young, a lot of that ability just comes with experience. You're all, the only way to really learn is by, by being in it. And Tony knows that better than anyone else. The cross into the box, it's punched out by Emily. Sorry, excuse me, Elizabeth. And that's a great punch by Liz to deal with the danger there. It's always great goalkeeping when you can put your defenders at ease and they know that they won't have to deal with what's to come. But the ball still pent in the Somerville defensive third here. And Somerville will want to ease some of that pressure, get the ball out, put the ball into the box. Shot attempted, that looks like it was blocked by a Somerville player. And indeed it was, yet again, another go uh, corner kick to Malden. Somerville will want to be marking very carefully here. Don't want to leave anyone unmarked. The ball into the box. Again, it's behind any intended teammates. Bouncing around though still, eventually cleared out, still top of the box. They'll have to be careful, nice clearance there. And certainly that's a foul, but I guess not. Maybe an advantage being played, Kaylee unable to find a teammate there. Good step by Malden to clear the danger. And a back and forth ensuing again, offsides called against Malden. Well, Somerville will be happy that they got through that uh, bit of pressure from Malden and they've been able to protect this 2-1 lead. And now they'll know that it would mean the world to them if they could get a third goal here. Ball given away though, not doing themselves any favors, Viola, great recovery there. Such a reassured defender. And Madeline, nice turn there, but unable to find a teammate. And neither team able to hold on to the ball right now. It's a bit hectic here. Kaylee, touch to settle. Ball back to Marie. Marie finds Caitlin. Caitlin, she's got Madeline in plenty of space, but she finds Issa. Issa, good first touch. Can she get the cross in? She can, but it's blocked out of bounds. Great football there, a great soccer there by the Highlanders. Opening up the space, recognizing what channels to go down. And Coach Tony won't show it, but he'll be happy with what he saw there. As any good coach should, because you can't get satisfied. You're only one goal up, crossed into the box, cleared out again and kept in bounds though. What's the call here? Oh, it had already gone out of bounds, so another corner kick. And a chance to get a third on the board here for the Highlanders. Of course, the imaginary board in this case. 
I'm really surprised that there hasn't been a scoreboard installed here, but maybe it's a matter of if, uh, when, not if. Cross played in, cleared out of bounds again. Violet did well to step back initially, misread the bounce, but she was there again. And it looks like an inj... What? Oh, an injury for... Who might it be? Um, and it looks like Lily... It looks like Lily's walking a little gingerly, holding onto her side or a hip or perhaps a back issue. We'll hope that Lily feels okay in the end. You never like to see someone being forced off the field due to an injury. And a quick huddle there from the Highlanders and Malden. Good leadership from both sides there to bring their players together, but hopefully Lily's gonna be okay. She's a very important part of this Highlander team. And she's still standing, which is it's a good sign. You can stand and still be injured, but you know, it, it, that tells us that it's probably not some excruciating level of pain, thankfully. Delia with the free kick, five yards inside of the Malden half here. And Coach Tony is saying, making, he wants it to find Issa. And Delia listened, but there was a little too much traffic right there. Marie does well to recover it after losing it initially. Good feet, she still has it. A little too far ahead of Caitlin, but Madeline, good turn from Madeline. She still has it, Madeline. She's going around the outside. Can she get a cross in? That's a good step from Malden and cleared out of bounds for a Somerville throw in. And I can't confirm, but we're likely now in the closing 20 minutes of the second half here. And unsuccessful there. Goal kick taken here, and it's a poor goal kick. It's gone straight to Madeline, but taken back from Alden, and a throw in for Somerville. Quickly taken, an awkward bounce. Oh, and Malden keeper again, just recovering there, making her own life more exciting, one could say. And that's number 16 now for Somerville up top, Emily Silva. Oh, I know Emily. It's good to see Emily out there on the field, a senior captain as well. Apologies, I'm realizing now, I think the, uh, and I think there might only be one captain and I've been referring to our seniors instead. So apologies about misspeaking there about our captains. Those are our seniors. Um, so apologies for any misleading statements there. Violet, number five at right back, is the one wearing the captain's armband. Goal kick again, or Offside, yeah, offsides called. Wasn't quite clear there what was happening at first. Caitlin. Caitlin in the mix of it as always, and Malden with a chance here to create something maybe, but really well dealt with there by Layla. Cleared up field. And Delia has to Delia with it. That was a dad joke. But she Delia's with it perfectly. And Delia's been really, really uh, reassuring in the back there for the Highlanders. Taking care of even a slight scent of danger.
Ball not dealt with yet, and it's a header back, but thankfully Liz can catch it. Um, a rule that some of us are watching may not know, if a teammate passes the ball to their keeper with their feet, the goalkeeper cannot pick the ball up. Only if it's hit by any other part of their body. And the ball out of bounds here for a Somerville throw in. Headed out for another Somerville throw in. Madeline looking for Lily, who thankfully is back out on the pitch and with her iconic stride. Ball played through, Kaylee unable to get a touch on it to slow it, and the Malden keeper comes to collect. But great to see Lily has recovered from whatever knock she picked up, and she's back out there sprinting. Time winding down here with Somerville protecting a slim one-goal lead here. Uh, the first goal being scored in the opening minutes of this encounter which I unfortunately missed. And then a second goal for the Highlanders coming in the second half from a very confusing, scrappy corner kick uh, that was put in by Kaylee. And Malden pulling a goal back somewhere around the 15 minute mark of the second half. Nice finish, it has to be said. Uh, nothing Liz could do about it, but Somerville now has to be mindful with a call, a timeout called with a little time left in this match. We'll be back shortly. Roughly 10 minutes remaining in this GBL match. Malden throwing. Cleared out of bounds there by Bridget. And it it's been a, uh, a mixed game because we haven't had too many moments of, you know, direct excitement, meaning there's a breakaway or there's a really remarkable save. There have been some mistakes made that have caused some excitement and some shock, but not quite the, the creative foot soccer we might want to see. Great tackle there, but... Lily with a chance to get a shot off. Great cutback. She takes out two Malden players. The ball in the box now. Can Madeline get a shot off? Well blocked again by Malden, but it's back here again with Caitlin. Caitlin gets a shot off, and it's out wide for a goal kick. Exciting moments there. And it's almost as though they heard me, but ultimately for not. And Malden still has a chance here to tie this game up. Marie, so good at shielding the ball, but commentator's curse that's taken away here. However, she recovers yet again, and it's really a back and forth, but Delia says, no thanks, offside's called, wow. The Highlanders will be breathing a sigh of relief there. They'll have to be careful there because all it takes is one pass or, or one defender being caught off guard and Malden will be through there, so they'll have to be really on their toes here in these closing minutes. Kaylee, great first touch, plays it back to Caitlin, a little soft on the pass, but the ball over the top, great idea, but it's just not connecting for the Highlanders. And with this being the first competitive match of the season, that's natural. It takes a few matches to find the rhythm, learn your teammates, learn the patterns and the tendencies of your teammates. But I was speaking with a parent at halftime and a lot of these players were playing together from a very young age, um, which is common in Somerville. Delia plays it back to Elizabeth. Elizabeth clears it well. Nervy moments there, but well dealt with. But you know, uh, I was a senior at Somerville High School in 20, for the 2013 season and 
one reason that we were so comfortable playing together is because most of us were playing together from middle school, a few of us even younger, and that seems to be the same case for this young core of Lady Highlanders as well. So Coach Tony has a lot to look forward to. Cleared out of bounds again. Oh, it's a, and it's a Somerville ball here. I, I thought for whatever reason that it was Malden ball, but it's not. Ball played up line and eventually goes out of bounds. Substitution here for Malden. And these young Lady Highlanders will find a lot of confidence in the fact that Coach Tony has kept them in for more or less the entirety of the match. And that, that speaks volumes in terms of the faith that he has in their abilities. Smart defending there by Malden to see it out of play. And we're probably approaching the final five minutes here. It's a close one, too close for comfort. Ball played up field and Somerville wins it back. They could have a chance here. Marie, a pass to Lily. Lily trying to find Marie or Kaylee, unable to. It bounces around in the box and Lily, the pressure as always. Madeline chooses to keep it in bounds. Successfully so, the cross in and it's caught by the Malden keeper. More reassured hands this time around from the Malden keeper. And Lily was ready to pounce otherwise. It's a big punt headed on. Malden does well to keep it. They still have it, but Madeline, such a determined defender there. And unlucky there, out of bounds. Another late substitution here. And we now officially are at the five minute mark. Another late substitution here for Malden. They wanna keep the energy levels high, but they'll also wanna be careful not to waste any time because they want another goal. Ball played up and that's a clear foul there. Violet does well to step in and win the ball and she's taken out after the fact. This is a good position for a free kick and Delia calling her off and deciding to take it on herself. Ball played over, she finds a teammate. It's flicked on, Lily here. Unable to lay it off to Marie, it's cleared up but Good job by Bridget there. Issa unable to recover, and again, it's with Delia. And great ball out to Violet, what a pass. And a good touch as well from Violet to find Madeline. Madeline cut inside, unsuccessfully so, cleared up by Malden. And Malden here with another chance. That's onside, Violet recovering yet again. What a recovery from Violet, and she wins the ball back. Great defending there. Ball played over the top though. And Elizabeth, safe hands. Well, I haven't had much time to breathe in the last couple minutes. Ball played down the line, cleared up again by Malden. That's miles offside, miles offside there. I don't think they were anticipating getting a ball played to them so quickly. Ball played up field. And Vi I mean, the whole back line for the Lady Highlanders has been uh, amazing tonight. You know, Malden hasn't really had any clear cut chances. Let me not jinx it though. Violet, such a good defender when it comes to tracking back. She covers so much ground. She's got the stamina and the speed. And it is another throw in, throw in to Malden. Another substitution for Malden as well. Coach Tony won't be too happy with how they've played today, the Lady Highlanders, but it's a young team. 
there have been really promising signs <clears throat> and they're winning. So at the end of the day, if they can get those three points, that's what he'll be looking at at the end of the day. It's a corner kick for Malden. And what a heartbreaking moment this will be for the Lady Highlanders. That's a good corner played in. Controlled by the thigh of the Malden player. Flicked on but cleared out. Not all the way. It's not yet fully dealt with. And it is a Malden throw in. Only minutes remaining here. Well shielded. Top of the box. Malden the shot. And it is wide. That was a great attempt there by Malden. It's never easy on the bounce like that. Good strike, but Elizabeth clearly was never too concerned. She never had to dive for it, so she knew that it was going wide all along. And if this were at Dillboy Stadium, you would see the scoreboard stopping at two minutes because that's the policy in high school for whatever foolish reason, I don't know. But none, none of us know now. And a great ball from Lily O. Oh, that's so unlucky. Great, great hold up play there. Trying to set Madeline off. And Lily everywhere at once, it seems. She's got those long strides. Nice split there. And the ball played through uh, way off sides again. If it is, well, it doesn't matter in the end because it's cleared by Liz. Trying to anticipate the bounce there. Well done by Kaylee to hold on there. Marie. Finds Kaylin, good touch to shield it, and she's got Madeline in acres of space, and she finds her great pass there. Nice cut inside. Last touch too heavy though. Nice first touch, and Delia such a good step there, not giving any space to the Malden defender, and a foul called. And Delia will be happy with that. I wasn't sure if that was a foul, but she'll take it. And we're now approaching, it's a matter of, you know, minutes, uh, seconds, more than minutes. I mean, a minute, 90 seconds maybe. But only the referees know. Violet acts somewhat abruptly finds Caitlin. And there you have it, folks. The Lady Highlanders are off to a winning start for this season. A 2-1 victory. Congratulations. It was a close game in the end, but... Somerville ultimately in control throughout. My name's Marcelo Brosiner. It's been a pleasure. Stay safe, everybody, and we will see you for the next home game. Bye, everyone.